Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Great. Great. All right. Well, let's lighten our hearts just a little bit with a little laugh. There were three successful sons, and they wanted so desperately to please their mother. So the first son bought his mom a big house. The second son bought his mom a fancy car. The third son bought his mom a parent that recited biblical verses. So after a while, she told the first son, this house is just too big. Second son, she said, this car is just too fancy. She told the third son, she said, but I like your gift most of all. She said, that was the tastiest chicken I've ever had. <laughs> The nourished soul. And then our chapter in our textbook, chapter 22, Finding the Christ. We all have our stories, his story and her story, of where and who we are and why we are. Not often I tell you much about myself, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. In 1946, Anna Marie Haggerty was born. A vibrant, smart, beautiful little girl. Until one day, 10 years of age, she had her first taste of alcohol. From cups sitting around at the poker party hosted at her home. From that moment, lives are changed. That vibrant little girl's soul was not nourished. The soul is our beingness, the place where our beliefs, our trust, our faith lies. That place is where you cannot be manipulated. The soul speaks our truth. We can't run, we can't hide. God knows each of us by name. Isaiah 43, 1 says, O Israel, which represents divine thoughts, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I am with you. When you walk through the fires, you will not be burned, for I walk with you. I am your Lord. I got you. I love you. Ernest Holmes says, the begotten son is embodied in any individual who believes in this power. To nourish is to be aware that there is a power that's great for our good. To put God on it is to put divine right action on every concern. The world can use some testimonies of God's goodness. That 10-year-old ten ten year girl was introduced to cigarettes and sex, etc. So at 14, she gives birth to Elisa Marie. Because of the whispers and stares, we moved to St. Louis until the age of three. I suspected that my mom felt like my cousin was abusing me. So she called my grandmother. And she said, Mom, can you come and get Lisa? And my grandmother said, yeah. She had a friend who belonged to L.A. Third Church, Fanny Hamilton. But my grandmother, she did all the other religions. So she asked Fanny to drive with her to St. Louis to come and get me. When they drove to St. Louis, uh, Fanny Hamilton told uh, Anna Haggerty all about this teaching. So by the time they went and got me, and my mom came too, she couldn't stand to see her baby leave, and she was just 17 to me. By the time we came back, that first Sunday is when I walked into LA Third Church on 48th and May at three years old. My soul was being nurtured, even though there was tragedy and heartache and some letdowns in there, it doesn't matter what goes on in our life, it's what we do about yes. what goes on yes. in our lives. Yes. My soul was being nurtured. The soul uses the body, the emotions, thoughts, and personality as tools for expression. Our goal is to allow the soul to become active and the personality to become passive. The soul nature is good. It's love. It can never be separated from us 
because it is our essence. That's where God does his work through the soul of every man and every woman. When we learn to identify more with the material world, we limit and isolate our experiences, and limitation leads to fear. When we learn to be quiet, to quiet our mind in order to listen to our soul, that part of us that looks to God, we become into balance and harmony with the universe. When a change or circumstance or situation happens, as new thought thinkers, as people who truly believe, our belief starts to take root where the divine life can unfold in yours no matter what. Yes. God minds presents the perfect ideals to all minds, especially to those that are open to the light of Christ. Let us strive for a fuller understanding, awareness, and knowledge of this power. So after I came back here and got into this teaching. So for the last 56 years, I heard this teaching. So when Crohn's disease came upon me at the age of 12, it took me 30 years to really use the power. Mm -hmm. See, we talk about this young man, Nipsey, and the young man that shot him. But as we talked about Wednesday in prayer and visioning, when we fulfill our purpose, it's time to move forward. Now, we're sad because he did some mighty good work. But guess what? In his death, his work will be even bigger. He's opening him up. He has to leave here in order for yes. us to know a greater God. Yes. So all the things that happen in our lives, we're still here. Yes. We had to know it in order to be who we are. Neville says, because creation is finished, what we desire already exists. It is excluded from view because we can only see the content of our consciousness. It is not the world that changes, but our view of the world that changes. Let us see with the eyes of God. For the Lord seeth not as a man looketh. For we see the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. Let God move in you to bring about a spiritual outcome. The nourished soul realizes that we are not false. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. The more we can realize this truth, the less we allow the limited to define us. Evolution is proof that this something pushes onward and upward. We did not create life, but we live it, we are from it, and we are made by it. Our reason for being is to awaken to the divine truth, fulfilling our purpose, and extending that truth to carry on, just like these young people out here. It's no age. Some people come and stay for a minute, an hour, a day, a week, a year, 10. Some of us have to stay here 90 years in order to get it. But when you get it, and you can take flight and move onward, it shouldn't be a sad experience. It's just the evolution of God. We did not come to stay, but we came to be a blessing and to bless. Everything is spiritual. We live in a spiritual universe. There's so much more that meets the eye than we see with our physical eyes. The nourished soul aligns our inner beliefs with an already present good. The nourished soul recognizes we are spiritual beings living in a perfect spiritual system. This system responds to our use of a perfect spiritual law. So we have God and God's law working with and for us. No matter what is happening or not happening in our lives, we have control over how we react and how we respond. That reaction or response determines what will happen next. My mom, Anna Marie Haggerty, my father, Louis C. Gunter, they came to this world to give birth to Lisa Marie. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Our caregivers may not have given us all that we needed and desired, but they did the best that they can, just as we are doing the best that they can. God has us here on purpose, for a purpose. 
Let the people go out of your mind. Quit holding anybody in prison in your consciousness. Set yourself free and set them free. We're here to learn a greater expression and being of living. Ernest Holmes says, God's creative power of mind is right here. We have as much of this power to use as we can believe and embody. The storehouse of nature is filled with infinite goodness, awaiting the touch of our awakened thought to spring forth into manifestation in our lives. But the awakening must be within our own thought. Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a gift, accept it. Life is an adventure, live it. Life can be sorrowful but overcome it. Life can give tragedies, face it. Life is a duty, perform it. Life is a mystery, unfold it. Life is a song, sing it. Life is an opportunity, take it. Life is a journey, complete it. Life is a promise, fulfill it. Life is beautiful, praise it. Life can be a struggle, Life is a goal, achieve it. Life is a puzzle, solve it. Life is love, so live it and love it. Yes. As you can see, we all have stories. We all can write a book. But God had to use you in that scene in order for you to be who you are yes. right now. Yes. You got to walk out of here greater, happier, more alive than when you walked in here. There is blessings, healing, that's waiting on your recognition. Okay. All that God is, we are. All that you desire to be, you can have. Broaden your vision. Yes. Open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Open your consciousness. Yes. Open your heart. For the soul is nourished. We just have to reveal it. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings.